Hi, I'm Lamberto Nonno, and I look after the HSNE culture and performance in Europe at Baker Hughes, a GE company, and I'm part of the Human Factors Workgroup at Step Change in Safety. If we want to change the fundamentals of the human performance in this industry, we need to explore a different perspective on how incidents happen. Years ago, still facing incident, we were interested in understanding why it made sense for the people to do what they did. And we started asking ourselves, was that an intentional violation or an unintentional error? This topic is about predicting how people may fail through errors or violation. If you are relying on people to prevent a serious accident, what would happen if they miss a step in a procedure? What would happen if they miss an alarm or press the wrong button? Examples of some unintended errors are mistakenly using the wrong tool or maybe forgetting to isolate a valve. Examples of violation are consciously not completing all the check in a procedure or consciously not wearing PPE that has been provided. Managing human failure is an essential component of safe operation especially in relation to safety-critical tasks. Managing human failure is about creating a narrow tolerant system, a system based on four key principles, preventing the human failure, reducing the likelihood of human failure, increasing the likelihood of detection and correction of human failure, and minimizing the consequence of human failure. Applying correctly this principle can make the difference between setting us up for failure or success. Please complete this section answering all questions openly. Thank you.